So the Baseball Hall of Fame remains uh, very controversial. There's a lot of players in there that shouldn't be in there, and a lot of players that should be in there are not in there. And this is one of them. To, to my opinion, one of the best right fielders of all time, part of the big uh, Boston Red Sox uh, squads of the 1970s, who were not for uh, a very rough game seven, he'd be a world champion. Almost hit 400 home runs. Uh, as, a, as, a, as a Red Sox and although he again wasn't part of what he called uh, uh, the uh, 86 victory as well uh, you know two World Series I mean uh, is that is that going to determine where do you get her in or not I think he deserves to be in there you tell me what you think of course we're talking about Dewey Dwight Evans now Dwight Michael Dewey Evans Again, played with the Red Sox from 72 to 90 and the Orioles of 91 in MLB. A three-time All-Star, an eight-time Gold Glover, and a two-time ALCS winner. He won two Silver Slugger Awards. He played the second most career games for the Red Sox of any player, surpassed only by Carl Yastrzemski, and of course, he's in the Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame. Now, born in the beautiful community of Santa Monica, he played Pony League and Cold League Baseball in Northbridge, California with the great Doug DeCincy of the Baltimore Oriole fame. Dwight attended Granada Hills High School in 10th grade, was, was not happy with the poor treatment he received from the baseball coaches. By the way, those, those coaches told him uh, that he wasn't going to be a Major League Baseball player. I, I'd like to talk to them. By the way, I, I read that in the books that Dwight had said he thought he was, it was just a bullshit dream. Well, you know, fuck them. <laughs> he then transferred to Chatsworth High School, for which he graduated in 69. Drafted in the fifth round of 69 men will be drafted by Boston with the 107 overall pick. He then played in the Boston's minor league system for almost four full campaigns. He played for the Florida Instructional League in 69, the short season Class A Jamestown Falcons in 69, the single A Greenville Red Sox in 1970, the single A Winston-Salem Red Sox in 71, and the uh, beloved Triple A Louisville Colonels in 72. He acquired the nickname Dewey while playing for Winston-Salem in 71. It was co coined by manager Don Locke who would already call Don Neuhauser Dewey, Newey and another teammate Louie. In 72 with Louisville, Evans was named MVP of the International League. So we're getting a lot of buzz about him. As soon as he arrived, uh, he made headlines. These major league debut was with the Red Sox on September 16, 72, during a 10 nothing blanking of the Indians. He appeared a total of 18 games late in the season, batting 15 for 57, 263 with one homer and six RBIs. Early in his major league career, he was primarily a defensive standout. He would win again eight gold glove awards with a modest bat. In the second half of his career, he became a powerful hitter, twice winning a Silver Slugger award. Originally, Evans was assigned uniform number 30 of 40, but quietly wanted to wear number 24, the number of his idol, Willie Mays. In 73, the Red Sox gave him number 24, the number he wore for the rest of his career, and the rest is history, of course. Now, he was the Red Sox regular starting right fielder uh, beginning in 73, a role he would have until 87. In 73, he batted 223 with 10 homers and 32 BR, two RBIs, and he went 10 71, 281, and 74. In 75, uh, the miracle year, the Red Sox won the AL East and, then swe and swept the A's in the ALCS. He went 1 for 10 against Oakland, being held to a double in the first game. However, in the championship series against the Reds, he weighed, batted 7 for 24, batting 292 with a home run and five ribbies. In the historic sixth game, with the score tied 6 6 in 11 inning, Evans made a spectacular catch of a drive on the warning track hit by second, Red second baseman Joe Morgan. Evans then threw to first base to complete an inning inning, inning double play, which set up Carlton Fisk's uh, dramatic walk on home run at 12th to win the game for the Red Sox 7 6. It did force a seventh game, which unfortunately the team lost the next day to the Dynasty Reds. <coughs> From 76 through 80, Evans uh, batted an overall 260 with 94 homers and 279 RBIs, and he was limited to 73 games and 77 by a knee injury. In each of the other years, he appeared at least 146 games. He was named an All-Star in 78, and he wouldn't be All-Star twice more during his career. In 81, d despite the strike-shortened season, Evans had his best all-around year. He paced the league in total bases 215, OPS 937, walks with 85, times on base 208, and tied Eddie Murray, Tony Armas, and Bobby Critch. Bobby Critch for the home run title with 22. He also ranked second in runs scored, 84, and on-by base percentage 415, and third in slugging percentage 522. 
He added a 296 average with 71 ribbies. It was an all-star for the second time and received his first Silver Slugger Award. Now, on opening day of 92, the Red Sox were visiting the Brewers and Evans watched Sixto Lascano's famous walk-off Grand Slam in the bottom of the night sail over his head. Brewers, uh, Brewers announcer Bob Euchre called the home run as follows. Here's a drive to deep right center. Way back goes Evans. It's got the chance to go. Gone. For 82-85, he batted overall 274 with 115 home runs and 338 RBIs. In both 82 and 84, he played in every Red Sox game. On June 28, 1984, he hit for the cycle in a 9-6 extra innings win over the Mariners. In 86, he hit a home run on opening day, April 7th, and on the first pitch of the MLB season as Boston and the Tigers were playing the first contest that day. His home run eclipsed the mark held by Chicago Cubs' Bob Wills with the second pitch for a home run on April 5th, 82. He hit a home run on opening day four times during his career. The Red Sox then went on to win the AL East and defeated the Angels in a comeback series uh, after being down 3-1 to take it in seven at the ALCS. He went 6 for 28, 214, with a home run and four RBIs in that series. Boston then lost the 86 World Series to the Mets at seven games. Uh, uh, tough game six loss, of course. Evans batted 8 for 26, 308, with two home runs and nine RBIs. As recently as 2016, Evans has said publicly that he's never watched any highlight films of the, that World Series because the memory remains too painful for him to bear. For the most of us, I watched that live and I still don't know how they lost. Now, in 87 to age 35, he recorded Kira Hards and batting average, true of five, home runs 34, and RBIs 123. He was named an All Star for the third time of his career, won his second Silver Slugger Award, and finished fourth in MVP voting. Defensively, he started 77 games at first, 71 games in right, and four at DH. In 88, he batted 293 with 21 homers and 111 RBIs while starting 78 games in right field, 61 games at first, and 6 at DH. In 89, he started 76 games in right and 69 games at DH while batting 285 with 20 homers and 100 RBIs. In his final season with Boston, he started 121 games, all as DH, and batted 249 with 13 homers and 63 RBIs. After the season ended, Evans was released by the Red Sox. We still don't know what happened there. In his 19 years with Boston, he batted 272 with 379 home runs, 1,346 RBIs, and 2,505 games played. Only Carl Yastrzemski played more games for the Red Sox. He had 3,300. He won eight gold gloves, two silver sluggers, and three all-star honors. Now, when he signed a one-year contract with the Orioles on December 6, 1990, he batted 270 with six homers and 38 RBIs in 101 games in his only season with the Orioles. Based on his uncertain medical status, uh, recurrent injuries, he was released by the Orioles in spring training on March 15, 92. Now, in his 20-year career, again, 385 home runs, 1,384 RBIs, 73 triples, 483 doubles, 2,446 hits, and 78 stolen bases, uh, with a 986 fielding percentage. In postseason, he was 239 with four homers and 19 RBIs in 32 games played. Now, uh, er, if Evans earned a reputation as an outfielder with one of the strongest arms in the American League. For his career, he had 152 outfield assists, including 15 and 75, 76 and 79, and 14 and 78. Now, he spent two seasons as an MLB hitting coach, uh, 94 with the Rockies and 2002 with the Red Sox. He was named a player development consultant for the Red Sox in 2003, and as of November 2009, he was still listed in that role by the Red Sox. 2000, of course, made it to the Hall of Fame for Boston, uh, Red Sox. Now, uh, she was dropped from the Baseball Hall of Fame ballot when he did re not receive the minimum 5% of votes in his third year of eligibility. Evans received 5.9% in 97, 10.4% in 98, and 36 in 99. Evans' low vote total in 99 is attributed to the appearance of future Hall of Fame players Ryan, Brett, Yount, and Fisk on a 99 ballot. Based on the win shares metric, baseball stats person Bill James has argued that Evans is a worthy candidate for induction. In 2016, Evans commented, I just don't understand the mentality of the voting. In November 2019, Evans was inducted as a Major League Baseball Air finalist as part of the 2020 Baseball Hall of Fame balloting. To gain admission to the Hall, finalists must obtain 75% of the votes from a 16-member Modern Baseball Era Committee. Evans received 50% of the vote, falling short of threshold by four votes. In January 2021, he was ranked 10th by Joe Pausanowski of the Athletic 
and a listing of the greatest eligible players not in the Hall of Fame. Now, uh, interesting personal life, by the way. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's gone through a lot. Evans and his wife, uh, Susan, have three children, Timothy, uh, Kirsten, and Justin. Their youngest child, Justin, died in April 20, 2019 at age 42 of complications from neurofibromatosis. Her son, Timothy, died 10 months later from complications of the same disease. Evans and his wife have been longtime supporters of the nonprofit organization Neo, uh, uh, Neurofibromatosis Nordis. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it correctly. It's a hard name. Both Justin and his brother, Timothy, were diagnosed with the disease in the 1980s. Evans' grandson, Ryan Bernardino, was drafted by the Red Sox in the 34th round of the uh, 2019 Major League Baseball draft out of uh, Bentley University. Bernardino's other grandfather is former player and coach Nick Bernardino. Now, in 2011, Evans also took a dip in acting. He appeared in the Fairly Brothers film Hall Pass as Maggie's father. Now, three time All Star, 78, 81, 87. Eight Gold Glove Awards, 76, 78, 79, 81, 85 inclusive. Four top 10 finishes in the AL MVP awards, 81, 82, 87, 88. Led league in on base percentage, 82. Led league in OPS, 81, 84. Led league in runs and uh, extra base hits in 84. Led league in total bases and home runs in 81. Led league in walks, 81, 85, 87. Led league in runs created, 81, 84. Led league in times on base, 81, 82. Hit for the cycle, 84. It was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, September 26, 88. He had four home runs on opening days in his career, uh, and uh, the only player with 10 home runs from every, every spot in the batting order. Now, within uh, the top 10 all time, 1,391 walks, 29th. 2,606 games, 41st. 941 extra base hits, 55th. 3,809 times on base, 56th all time. 385 home runs, 65th all time. 1,570 runs created, 68th all time. 4,230 total bases, 70 at all time. 8,996 at bats, 74th 74, 74 all time. 1,470 runs, 79th all time. 483 doubles, 80 at all time. And 1,384 80, runs batted in, 82nd all time. And 385 home runs for a right handed hitter. That is 10th all time for the AL. So again, uh, this was the ratings for 2019, but could have been some changes. But my God, ladies and gentlemen, him not in the Hall of Fame, that's not going to impress anybody into the next decade. I think he should be in very soon. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here with our Baseball Vintage Podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. But don't forget, requests are always highly appreciated and always highly considered. Have a good one. Bye.